Hi, I'm Barb. I'm the current president at Bethel University, and this is my BU story. What gets me up in the morning sometimes is a donkey braying. I share a home with two other professional women, and we have a small hobby farm. So my horse's name is Timber, because he's as big as a tree. He's just beautiful to watch. But he's also very bossy with the two miniature donkeys. I'm also a dog lover. One of my friends actually made a denim vest for my dog. She has been nicknamed Jojo Jolly. And the reason she's nicknamed Jojo Jolly is because she's just this happy, happy, always fun-loving, it seems, little dog, running around the backyard or doing something she shouldn't be doing. All of my adult life, up until the last five or six years, my family, at that time my father and mother and two sisters, we all lived very far apart, in different states even. So when I moved here, my father had just passed away, and a sister and her husband very quickly moved right next door, actually. But then my mother, uh, we began to realize, was suffering from dementia, which was eventually diagnosed as Alzheimer's. And so we needed to care for her. She and I are very close. She was such an example of someone who knew scripture, read scripture, studied scripture, and lived it every single day. Watching that as a child, I, I was never interested in being anything else but as genuine as she was. So a lot of what we're doing now is caring for my mother. And I will say it's at times exhausting, but it's also beautiful. One of Bethel's values is to build relationships and to be able to work in a place where that is a priority and to live that out and watch that lived out in the lives of others is wonderful. And then I'm able to do the same thing at home too, uh, which of course is what Jesus simulated for us in scripture. You know, there's the verse in James that says, true religion is to care for the widows and the orphans. My mother's not only a widow, she's my mother who's suffering from Alzheimer's. And though her brain is scrambled, she's a woman who loves God and has been made in His image. And she deserves to be treated with dignity. And one day she'll join Him, a whole person. And I want to make sure I've done my part to usher her into His arms. This is my BU story. What's yours?